Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a structural mechanics problem, and in particular, this is a column problem. Uh, so here's what the question asks. A 20-foot uh, concrete 14-inch by 14-inch column has a pin connection on one end and a fixed on the other, uh, and is fixed on the other. Assume EI equals 5 times 10 to the 6th power, kips inches squared. Uh, what is most nearly the critical buckling stress? Well, they laid this guy out for you easy as pie. Just you know, they gave you all the givens. Uh, so if you're looking for any material on this, you're going to be in FE uh, page 137, and so I control F column, uh, and that's what got me to this guy. Uh, in the PE, you're going to be in 36. So uh, where you look or whenever you look on those pages you end up with the sigma CR that is your critical buckling stress so that's going to be over your critical uh, force over your area which by the way is just you can understand that stress is equal to any force over area um, that's just a good knowledgeable rule uh, so in this case our PCR is equal to there's another formula they have pi squared EI over A L squared. So this ends up being uh, pi squared times 5 times 10 to the 6th kip inches squared. Uh, and then that's going to be over 0.7. So we found that from our uh, table there. And we multiply that by 20 feet. And then uh, we need to convert feet over to inches. And so there are 12 inches in a foot. So that's where that conversion happens. And all of this is going to be squared. And this was a parentheses. Uh, so when you plug that stuff in and you plug it into your uh, PE or FE approved calculator, uh, you should end up with 1748.44 kips. And so whenever you are calculating your stress, you end up with 1748.44 kips over your area which is our 14 inches uh, by 14 inches okay that's your cross-sectional area of your uh, column and whenever you plug that stuff in you end up with 8.921 kip per inch squared uh, okay and so something that we noticed about this problem is our answer bank is actually in PSI and so that means pounds per square inch uh, but we do know that one kip is equal to 1,000 pounds. So we can uh, understand that this is actually very close to 9,000 pounds per square inch, uh, which is PSI. So if we go up here to our bank, our uh, answer bank, that's going to be C. So I hope this video helps, and we'll catch you next time.